Hi guys, welcome to Boomix Beauty Beat. I am back with my dark circles. Welcome dark circles. Because today we're going to be uh, giving under eyes a little bit of love. First of all, I'm going to uh, just show you guys the Banana Bright Eye Cream from, how do you say this name? Ola Hendrickson. There we go. And I got a sample of this months ago and I've always had it on my mind to pick up an actual full size cream. So we're going to do that and put a little bit of that underneath my eyes. And then we're going to try out the new Fenty Beauty by Rihanna Bright Fix. And uh, yeah, so let's just roll on into it. So it says here on the eye cream to apply an, to the entire eye area, okay. Provides a beautiful base for makeup and proven to extend concealer wear. And since it said that, I thought, okay, this will be perfect to put underneath. And that's how the eye cream comes. There's 0.5 fluid ounces and uh, I just find this eye cream to be like the best I've ever tried. I tried other ones and I've been using another one. I used it up and so then now's the time to do that and I'm just gonna give you guys a quick tip. Some people say that the eye cream burns their under eyes or burns their eyes. Just one little thing I know from my makeup artistry days just to keep in mind is that your eyes are very hot and it kind of it sucks in the product and sometimes if you go too close like right close to your eyelash line it can um, seep like right into your eyes so just you know focus it in and around this area and it should be in a little bit better shape so I I'm not going to put my Becca under eye because that's not going to be around very much longer. I'm looking for an under eye solution. I was tempted to try the new Jaclyn Hill under eye primer, but if anybody else has tried it, please, you know, give me a comment below. Uh, I ended up getting a color in this that is more focused on color correcting because I'm hot on the search for that. In that uh, any of the under eye products that I've been using for corrector under here um, have been good at for this part here but then right here see right here where it's really 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 dark I get a gray cast especially in this line right here so I'm looking to see if it can help me with that so the color that I did get in this is the pumpkin which is the medium to deep color but I am very dark here so I think I'm hoping this is going to color correct, correct and match me the best okay so let's just check out the claims um, what it is it's an under eye brightener that hydrates brightens and conceals with sheer to buildable coverage delivering a no makeup makeup effect and long wear formula it's got a light coverage and you're just supposed to apply a small amount and can also be layered with the Pro Filter Concealer. <laughs> Works with fill fingers, brush, or sponge. So we'll just tap it on with um, my fingers. But here's what it looks like, you guys. It comes with this little cap. I just already pulled it off so that nothing can leak out. It's kind of cute packaging, I think. This little weird top. Let's just see. I'll just put a little bit on my hand. <clears throat> just comes out. And see I've got really a deep color this may have been a good strategy it may not have been a good strategy I don't know uh, I know that I wouldn't it wouldn't work for me as a concealer because I need that heavy heavy coverage so we're just going to put this on as a really deep color corrector oh that might be too deep of a color uh, oh that's pretty dark Hmm. So it's going on. It almost soaks into the skin. Well, maybe it's because I'm really dry under eyes. Wow. It almost stains the skin. But you can sure see that. Holy. That is some kind of intense pigment. 
I don't think I was really expecting that. I thought it was going to be a little bit lighter. I didn't try it on in the store or anything. I just I just tried it on as is. But what I'm going to do for um, kicks and giggles is for me to see if this really is working as a corrector, what I'm going to do is actually put the rest of my makeup on. <laughs> Put the rest of my makeup on and I won't put the brightener or the corrector under this other side so that we can compare it and see if it actually did the job or not. Because sometimes we can think it's working, but it's not working. So I'm going to do a half and half and I don't have to go anywhere special today. So if I look a little bit different on both sides, it's not going to matter. Um, yeah, so let me go get the rest of my makeup on and let's see if this cancels out that darkness hi guys okay well i'm back with this um you know casual look today and i am just examining the difference between using you know my fenty beauty i scared the heck out of um my other with that big orange thing under my eyes like what happened <laughs> but you know that's what color correcting is right okay so I'm looking at the difference between here and here and maybe it's not that, per I don't know if it's perceptible to you guys, but I can see definitely this is, it's canceled out a little bit of the gray cast, not like a ton, but I think enough that it makes me feel more insecure. See right here, right here, I see it being deeper a, a little bit deeper and darker than um, the gray cast on this side where we put the Fenty brightener underneath um, and again like I really mixed up my routine because I didn't put any back under eye primer I just used the you know the cream that we started with and this um, and only on the one side so that I could see you know because sometimes we buy these products and I don't know if it's actually doing that much of a difference but I I definitely can, I can see a darker cast here where it's not put on so I'm happy with the difference like it's definitely something I'm happy with it scared the life out of me at first because this color is quite intense but what I do think is great about it is it's not it's not adding any age under my eyes for being see that's what the color looked like again yeah that's sitting underneath this foundation so it's coverable even at that dark color and it worked really well and i don't see um any aging it doesn't look like it added a bunch of gross under the eyes if anything this side looks actually less dehydrated than that side so the moistening effect i don't know seems to be good um yeah so for anybody that needs a corrector i haven't tried the brightening colors i just am focused on trying to get the dark cast away i think this was a good purchase i'm actually really excited with it so anything to make me feel a little better about those puppies i'm happy with let me know your thoughts if it's something that you're thinking about uh getting and yeah the consistency is really interesting you guys can see like it it kind of really stains the skin like it stains it so i mean once it's on it's on you don't have to worry about it moving around or anything like that i don't think all right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Just a quick review, and I highly recommend the uh, Banana Bright Eye Cream for an under eye cream. I really, really love it, and I saw a big difference after using, they gave me a rather large sample, um, and so I went ahead and picked up the full product. Hope you guys have a great day. Bye for now.